Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Hello, here we are at Stadium Australia, part of the Olympic Sports Complex here in the great city of Sydney. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from the round of 16 here at the 2023 World Cup. It's Japan up against Norway. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, in this system, I'm not sure how they're going to pose a threat going forward. The centre forward will certainly struggle to get any support, and there doesn't seem to be any attacking width. Here's how Norway will begin the game. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And now they get the ball rolling. Endo. Rico Ueki. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Can she score? Well, decent save there. And taken short. She's made a really good intervention there. And does well to keep it in play. Ingrid Sirstad Engen. Ada Hegerberg. Engen. She just doesn't want to give the ball away. Real chance. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Astute piece of defending. Yui Hasagawa. Hinata Miyazawa. 
Of course, he's playing with a purpose. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Graham Hansen on to Wrighton. Crossing possibilities. Must be! And a decent save for credit. And there's the delivery. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box. And what a good header that is. Yes, the marking could be better, but she just found that little bit of space. In the end, she didn't even need to jump. Goal! 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. Endo. Interception to snuff out the danger. Frida Mornu. Shiori Miyake. Now with Shimizu. Miyazawa. Oh, great vision. Well, possibilities in the center. And that will be a corner. They take it short. Hinata Miyazawa and a goal not over just yet well here you can see it again good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure that's a top class goal So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? And we are going to have two additional minutes. Marin Mielde. The first half here comes to an end. And the match is underway. Can she score? Well, decent save there. She just doesn't want to give the ball away. Real chance. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Must be! And a decent save for credit. And then. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us.
Nagano. Well timed tackle. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, she's been warned, but not cautioned in this case. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. This is looking threatening. And let's give credit to the defending. Brighton. Are getting the ball forward. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, fancy footwork. Opportunity. And that's two for her today. They just can't contain her. And no wonder she's off celebrating. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. shortage of goals in this match 3-1 Miyake Fukan Nagano and it might be really important tackle Brighton Now with Graham Hansen. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Oh, she's broken things up magnificently. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Plenty of options. And players waiting in the centre. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Untidy in possession. Yui Hasagawa. The fans imploring her to shoot. Spot on with that tackle. Harvey. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Can she put it away? And the referee blows for full time. They've made it through to the last eight of the World Cup. Well, as the scoreline would suggest, it was a comfortable win. But they had to play really well to get their victory. In particular, I thought their midfield really imposed themselves on the game. They'll need to continue that going into the next round.